kindergarten friends. My name is Miss Jamie and I'm very excited to share today's lesson with you. What if I told you I had a ticket for you to go to Walt Disney World? Doesn't that sound fun and exciting? I mean, you could see Mickey and Minnie Mouse, maybe some of the Disney princesses. But would you believe me? I mean, after all, most of you haven't even met me yet. Disney World's kind of far away. It's not like it's right here in Raleigh. Hmm, it almost sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Maybe you would believe me if I had like your name on your ticket, right? If you saw your name on the ticket, then would you believe me? Some things are, there's an expression, words people say, um, that says, I'll believe it when I see it. So maybe you would believe me if you saw your name on the ticket. Some things just sound way too good to be true and it would be easier to believe it if you saw it, right? Sometimes it's hard to believe things if we're feeling kind of scared or tired or lonely. Think about it at nighttime. Maybe some of you, after you read you some bedtime stories and say your bedtime prayers, your mommy and daddy you give mommy and daddy give you a kiss and say good night, love you, see you in the morning time, and they turn off the lights and you lay there and you think, hmm, hmm I'm gonna try to sleep, but I'm kind of scared and lonely. They said they're right down the hall but I can't see them. Let me listen, maybe I can hear them. Uh, they sat there there, but I can't see them. Right, sometimes it's hard to believe if we're feeling a little scared or lonely or sleepy or sad. In our story today, we're gonna hear about a disciple named Thomas who Jesus helped believe. He was feeling um, a little bit was kind of scared and, and sad and lonely. His best friend had, had just died, right? Um, and he heard some news that almost sounded too good to be true. Let's, let's listen to our story. Do you remember what happened last Sunday? That's right, it was Easter and Jesus, we found out, had risen from the dead just as he said he would. After he had risen from the dead, some women ran to tell the news to the disciples. That night, the friends had met in a room. They locked the doors because they were still afraid of Jesus' enemies. The friends were talking about the news that Jesus had risen. They knew he wasn't in his grave anymore, but they hadn't seen him yet. Then, all of a sudden, Jesus was in the room with them. Peace be with you, he told them. Jesus showed them where the nails had been in his hands and in his feet. Then he ate a piece of fish to show them he was really alive. It truly was Jesus, no doubt about it. Jesus spent some time with his friends and then he left. How happy his friends were to have seen Jesus. But one of Jesus' friends was not there that night. His name was Thomas. When the other friends told John Thomas, we have seen Jesus, he is alive. Thomas would not believe them. Thomas said, I will not believe Jesus is alive unless I see him and touch the nail marks in his hands. Seven days went by, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the friends met in the room again. It was locked again. This time, Thomas was with them. Again, all of a sudden, Jesus appeared in the room with them. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus went to Thomas. Jesus said, put your fingers on my hands. Feel the nail marks. Stop wondering, Thomas. I am alive. Believe in me. Thomas then called out to Jesus, my Lord and my God. Thomas finally believed that Jesus was alive. Jesus told Thomas, you believe I am alive because you have seen me. Blessed are all the people who believe in me even though they have not seen me. 
Let's try a little action rhyme about believing. I can't see Jesus, but I can see his world. I can't hear Jesus, but I can hear his word. Do you want to try it with me? I can't see Jesus, but I can see his world. I can't hear Jesus, but I can hear his word. Let's close in prayer. Dear Jesus, help me to trust in you each and every day. Help me show my love for you as I work and play. Amen. Thank you, Garden Kids, for joining me today. Let's always believe in what God has promised to us. Have a great week.